Hello there. Real ones know what to comment. Welcome to the crib. So what's up guys? Welcome to my Brooklyn studio. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Johnny Tai. I'm a fashion content creator on YouTube. And uh, let's show you guys the place. Okay, so here's the entryway. As you can see, uh, life of a sneakerhead slash fashion content creator. There's a ridiculous amount of sneakers and I don't recommend it. But um, this is the entryway. This right here is actually the bathroom. I'll show you guys that later because nobody cares about the bathroom. Here we go with the coat rack. There was a coat rack here, but we threw it out and then we drilled into the wall because I learned how to uh, fix the holes, fix drywall. I, I did some adult stuff, but um, this is just to hang the coats, the bags. Over here we have the shelf. Um, as you can see, this is these are all my stuffed animals. I'm just kidding. These are all my girls. So yeah, these are my girlfriend's stuffed animals. She grew up with these and uh, they're very sentimental to her. She has her own dedicated space for these. Uh, <laughs> this is actually for my niece. I'm bringing it to my, my niece in Colorado. I shouldn't have dropped that. Uh, here's Ahsoka. Ahsoka, say what's up. So on the shelf, there's like little trinkets and stuff just so I can look like I know interior design. Um, <laughs> there's like a jar of rocks that we got in Pennsylvania from a farm trip. Photos, we got the Dr. Dre album. This is actually my skateboard. If you guys don't know, I skateboard as well. I'm not very good. Um, we have a lot of cleaning stuff as well. And here's all the camera gear, tripods, mic stands, uh, camera bags and stuff like that. On the bottom is all of Ahsoka's stuff. So normally, <laughs> these are her toys. All this would be spread out everywhere throughout the house. But yeah, this is a no shoes house. As you guys know, if you guys see me, Asian households, no, sh no, no shoes in there. So we have baby wipes for Ahsoka whenever we go take her out for a walk. Whenever she comes back, we just wipe her paws. Okay, so welcome to the living room area. This is a studio, so the whole place is my, my living room, technically. This is a table. I actually found this on the street, right down the street, actually. Some uh, probably rich person just didn't want this. And one man's trash is another man's treasure. So this is actually, it's really cool. This is a table you, you get at like West Elm or something like that. You lift it up, and now you have somewhat of a desk and an eating area. So we technically don't have a dining table. This is our dining table slash coffee table. And yeah, we got coasters, candles and stuff like that. This table actually has some wear and tear. You know, I think it gives a character. And this table was free. It'd probably be like $300 or so. So we got lucky with that. This is the couch. The couch we got on Amazon, pretty cheap. We do plan on upgrading whenever we move to a, a better place. So we're gonna get a better couch than this. But it's, it's whatever, man, it's a studio. So these right here are just some skateboards uh, hung up on the wall. You just get some 3M strips, you get some fishing line. You're good. Make sure it can hold three pounds or so. Got a fortune deck. That's Brett Conti skate brand. We got a, a DJK Bruce Lee collaboration deck. Pretty dope collab. So here are some of my plants. I'm somewhat of a, a plant dad myself. The first month you get into plants, you kind of kill a lot of plants, but I'm finally, finally getting the hang of it. I got a white orchid back there that I got from my girl. I got a bunch of succulents in different pots that I got on Amazon. I think if you don't have any plants in your house, it feels kind of dead. Little birdies right here, just hanging out by the plants. We got this from Ikea. I know interior design. Anyways, okay, so over in this corner, I have a, a little beer cart. This is rosé that I'm never gonna drink, but if I have guests over, I'll throw in the, the freezer, it'll be good. I have some more plants. These two plants I actually got from my friend Dan. Shout out to Dan. We got a, a pathos and we got a monstera. And then over here, we have the ZZ plants. If you guys live in New York, I definitely recommend the Sill. Any plant that you want, and they have really cool, nice design pots as well. So you're, you're mainly paying for the pot. <laughs> um, you're mainly paying for the pot. Uh, this beer cart I got from Amazon as well. This is very cheap. It's just a uh, metal construction with four wood plies. I got a little nice mint-ish color just to add some color to the space. The ZZ plant's just standing on a chair stool from an old piece of furniture I had. So yeah, when I filmed this, I had a lot of caffeine already and I just forgot a few things. So I forgot to mention my Chicago wall art. Chicago is one of my favorite cities. I already live in New York City, which is my favorite city and I don't need a bunch of New York City wall art when I have it as my backyard. And I'm actually gonna visit there this month. And the framed graduation album. I got this album specifically because the artist Takashi Murakami is a great artist. His work is just awesome. And then the album itself got me through a lot of the rough days, you know, days I almost ended up homeless. People not believing in me with this whole YouTube 
YouTube thing, so Can't Tell Me Nothing got me through a lot of those obstacles. And that's what makes this place more suited towards me and feels like home. And if you're looking to step up your interior design game, definitely check out Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of creative and curious individuals come together to learn something new, expand their knowledge. You really could learn almost anything that you want. I know you guys would probably like photography, graphic design, entrepreneurship, but I want to recommend you guys this interior design class by Emily Henderson. And no joke, I watched this class many times before moving into here, and this place has gone through many, many iterations, and I think I did a pretty good job. But if interior design is not for you, there are plenty of other classes on productivity, or let's just say you want to be a YouTuber, definitely check out Marquez Brownlee's class on YouTube success. This is where Marquez shows what goes on behind the scenes of his YouTube process, and it was actually very helpful and actually helped me with my YouTube process. It's one of the best classes on there, and they're all under 60 minutes. All you have to do is click that link in the description that is for the first 1,000 of you guys, in which you will get one month free of Skillshare's premium membership. So thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Back to the apartment. Here's the entertainment center. Nice and pretty. This is where I watch all my shows, Better Call Saul, Jackie Chan movies, and all that good stuff. Nothing really much to explain. It's just the TV and stuff. This TV is from Best Buy. This thing right here, a TV stand, what you call it? It's from West Elm. No, it's not. I can't afford that. Uh, Wayfair, it's from Wayfair. Um, why did I say West Elm? Probably because I dream of getting a furniture from there. Here we go, into the kitchen area-ish area. We have this shelf that I got from Amazon as well. They didn't have an Ikea. These are, they normally have the Calyx shelves. They just didn't have any stock and they haven't had stock in that long. This is just a cube shelf. It's meant to divide the space, which is why we got this. Right here is the nightstand, bed nightstand, I guess. We charge our phone and stuff right here. It's the same beer car, it's just a different color. Always have some protection. Um, protection in case someone breaks in. Likelihood to break into this place, probably not gonna happen, but I'm always prepared. I am always prepared. <laughs> Like I said, I'm always prepared. I got flashlights, blind people and stuff like that. I'm, I'm prepared, man. I have another plant right here. This is the uh, parlor palm. This was my first plant in this place that I almost killed. A lot of it died. I did not know what I was doing. It's, it's coming back to life now. Here is the mirror. Most New Yorkers have the big old Ikea mirror. I couldn't find that. They didn't have it at Ikea, so we opted for this smaller one from Amazon. <laughs> This is the walk-in closet. I'm not gonna show you guys what's in there right now because it's a mess because I was filming videos. So I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna replace the my talking right now with some nice, beautiful B-roll. Um, as you can see on the right side is all my clothes. I am a fashion influencer, so I do take up most of the space even though typically it's the other way around. It's pretty deep. It's pretty deep walk-in closets and uh, we got lucky with this place. That's what sold us uh, to get this apartment. But I didn't show you guys the bedroom area. Come follow me, follow me, follow me. So this is technically the bedroom area. You guys might be wondering, what is this? This is actually another closet. You guys might think this is really weird, but this is just how New York, New York works. You're limited on space, you gotta kinda compromise. This closet just holds all the stuff we barely even use. So it has like our suitcases for whenever we travel. We got extra shoe boxes in there. Cleaning supplies that we probably won't ever touch for maybe once a month or so. So it's not a big deal, we just pull out the bed and then we can get inside and get our stuff. But yeah, you know how you have like a, a miscellaneous drawer where you just throw a bunch of stuff in it? That's what that is. It's a miscellaneous closet. That freed up the space for us to put our bed right here. So it's quite cozy. Lower ceilings up here than over here. So it's, it's a lot more cozier. And I feel like we utilize the space pretty decently. Again, that might be a little bit weird for you guys, especially those of y'all that live in Texas that can get a, a beautiful mansion for $2,300 a month. We got some fairy lights just surrounding this area just to make it a little bit more cozy. And then we clip some of the pictures that actually, you know, print out of a Fujifilm camera. We just clipped it on there. It makes us feel a little bit more personal. Welcome to the kitchen area slash my office. This right here is a little island that we got from Amazon. I think you guys can kind of see uh, a reoccurring theme. This is just a little island that's movable. We might adjust it to this way. It changes all the time, but there's drawers. Vertical storage is a priority. It's, it's a must in New York City. To maximize the space that you have, vertical storage is the best thing you can do. It takes up little space, but you got vertical space. So that's how New York was built anyways. You know, skyscrapers and all that. We have the dish rack slash dishwasher. 
Apparently a dishwasher is a luxury in New York. I don't know what a dishwasher is. My family's always used this thing as a, a dish rack, so I call it a dish rack. But I actually got some dishwashing soap because I thought we might as, might as well uh, get our money's worth with this place. So we're gonna start utilizing that. We got a pretty, it's not a small fridge, because it's quite tall, because most fridges are like this tall, but they're wide. So I think it kind of balances out. And here is the kitchen area where we cook and stuff like that. We got coffee stuff. This is where uh, my Viet's known, the, uh, the Cafe Uh We got a French press right here. Uh, you don't want to see what's in the sink. This is, the, this is a sink right here. Welcome to the stove cooking area. This is my this is my, my jam. Got to wok, got to do some stir fry. Um, this actually has a pretty nice burner, so this is perfect to use a wok. Wish it was on the far right side. You know, oven mitts, we got the oven right here. And then we got the little spice rack right here, my knives, and just a bunch of Asian sauces, because I do a lot of cooking. The cabinets are a slow closing cabinet, so they don't make a, a loud sound unless you slam it. Same with the drawers. They are also soft closing as well. And that's the kitchen area mainly. Up top, there's some technically not supposed to be storage. That's where the lights are, but we store some stuff in there. Um, New York Living. I got some instant pho. Got the S tier adult cereal. And then in this little corner, we just keep our bags and stuff like this because we, we do order groceries for delivery because we're bougie like that. Um, we order groceries, it comes in bags, and we just use those bags as extra trash or recycling. Over here is uh, where the cube shelf is. Um, not every space is utilized on the cube shelf. So if you guys have any recommendations on what I should put on there, that'd be great. Uh, up top, we have some books. We have a Cantonese book because I was trying to pick up Cantonese again because I forgot my native tongue. Here's my electric scooter as well. I actually mounted a phone mount so I can navigate easier. I don't ever have to take the subway again. Uh, it was like 490 and a subway pass, monthly subway pass is 127 a month. So after four months, this pays for itself. And this is my little desk area, office space area, slash kitchen eating area. This desk actually was given to me by my old roommate, Frugal Aesthetic, big shout out to the homie. Very nice desk, very big for this place, but I'm not gonna say no to a free desk. My girl and I hung up some threading right here. We just hung some more Polaroid pictures that we took. Got a kendama for entertainment. Let's see if I can do it. First try, first try. Uh, we got, <laughs> We got a lamp right here. This is this has the RGB Philips Hue lights, so I can, you know, set set the set the mood. Uh, more shelving for some more pictures. I got some Bruce Lee stickers that came from the Bruce Lee skateboard. If you guys are wondering what my office setup looks like, this is the Keychron K2 mechanical keyboard. I got the Logitech mouse, so I can uh, marshal some people on Valorant. And I got a PS5 controller, but no PS5. It's just LG monitor. This is a Windows laptop on a laptop cooler. Um, Got the road mic for some clean audio. And uh, here's my little herb garden. My basil's actually growing. Um, everything else is kind of dying, so. Also, you guys are probably wondering, where is the washer and dryer? We don't have one. All right, it's a luxury to have one. We don't have one. But we do have a laundry right down the hall and there's one in every floor so we can wash our clothes. Um, why does it have to be a luxury to get washer, dryer, and unit? Okay, so welcome to the bathroom, guys. Let's hope you can be in this part of the video. Actually, not that bad for a New York City bathroom. I've been in smaller bathrooms. It's a pretty nice sink. It's quite modern. This is actually uh, an old building that was renovated recently. Curtain we got from Amazon. The shower is kind of a... You guys don't want to see that. Nice sink, medicine cabinets, plenty of mirrors. It's a pretty solid bathroom. Very, uh... Luxurious. It feels like a, a hotel. I got some wall art right here um, just to bring back the nature feel because I am from New Mexico So I wanted some nature inside the bathroom and then uh, for the sink they have two drawers They're actually soft closing as well. There's a little bit of a gap Between the the sink and this wall right here and the tub. So I bought a cart. I measured it out I bought a cart so it fit perfectly right in here and there's just more vertical storage Um, Yeah, guys, that's pretty much the place this light doesn't isn't uh, always right here I'm using it to light up the place because the sun is setting. But that's pretty much the place. We do pay $2,300 a month for this 500 square foot studio. And we did move in during the pandemic. So I think originally this place was like 3,200 pre-pandemic, which is a little bit ridiculous. But mid-pandemic, we got a lot of months off. So don't expect this pricing whenever things get a lot better after the pandemic. So it might jump up a little bit, but uh, I love this neighborhood. Uh, I used to live here when I first started the channel and I was broke, hungry, and depressed. 
very sad days. But uh, now it's, uh, it's good to see the support from you guys. Um, I'm able to get a pretty nice place and it's all thanks to y'all. And this place also has quite a lot of amenities. I'll show B-roll of the place. Um, we got a rooftop, we got some conference rooms, we have a gym as well. And that is my Brooklyn apartment tour. Hope you guys found this insightful. If you guys are ever moving to New York City, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fly with Johnny Ty. And until then, stay fly, deuces.